Okay, so my walking and training begins. Two nights now, I have walked home from the dance studio, trying to get ready and prepared for Walt Disney World and all the walking and talking that I'll be doing with the vlog camera like this in the heat, although it's not hot right now. <laughs> so yeah, I really have to get in shape. This is ridiculous. Following the leader wherever you may go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Dance Spot Family Vlogs. And today we are shopping and I'm going to show you how to make homemade t-shirts. We're giving away free shirts at uh, Rodeo Days tomorrow for our free dance class. So I'm going to show you that today. Yay! So right now we're at Walmart shopping. Gotta follow Aunt Coco. Oh. gonna make bows like Jojo, huh? That'll be a lot of fun. Are you gonna be good at it? Uh -huh. you, you don't, toys? don't, don't tell her that you're doing it. You gotta surprise her, sneak up on her. She looks, she's like, hey, did you get her? Okay, oh, you got her. That's good. Okay, you only get one toy. Do you want this or do you want your JoJo bow maker? Pick one. Okay, then get Okay, here. It's so distracting. Okay, guys, what's up? I'm back from shopping and I've already started working on some of our shirts. So what I did was is I'm hosting a free dance class for rodeo days. So it's a free class. We've never done this before, so we'll see how this goes. I had signups and I am giving away free t-shirts. So we don't have a big budget for giving away free t-shirts. Yeah. And Aubrey put some on my hands. So what we did is I decided to do an old school way. This is the way I used to do it like 20, 30 years ago. I got t-shirts for $2 a piece. And then I got some puppy paint and glitter and I had some swatches of old materials, so I made these cute little designs. And you got mommy. I made that for mom. On the shirts. Hey. Yeah. yeah, and then she wants to show off what she made. She made a shirt for mommy. Mommy, I love you by <laughs> Aubrey with her hands on it. Totally cute. So I've got some more pink shirts to finish and then tomorrow morning we will be meeting these brand new kids and uh, I thought it would be a fun thing to do for the community and, uh, and then they're going to learn a quick little routine from our CITs and get to perform it for everybody 
Hopefully if the weather is good. I'm hoping. If not, then we'll perform it in the studio. I mean, we got nowhere else to do it. So that's what our plan is. And uh, if you wanted to come up with something like this for you to do for your kids, I swear these are cute and they're easy to make. And uh, you can pound them out pretty quick and really cheap. <laughs> that's the good thing. Yay. All right. So we'll see you in the morning when we're getting ready for rodeo days and meeting our free dance class kids. Yay. Good morning guys what's up so here I am I'm sitting on my porch I am having my brother's coffee he even sent me this cool little cup I don't know if you can see that fight night you can order his coffee online <laughs> I can't believe my brother makes coffee this is so crazy mm, it's really good it's like very rich so if you like coffee Go online, find Fight Night Coffee. Okay. So, um, this week's video is just kind of some random stuff that I put together. And then I'm thinking maybe I might start uh, working on some more how-to videos. Um, I could do that this summer, giving you guys some tips on how to do, um, like, making props or you know, some costume tips on making cheaper costumes and things like that. Um, and maybe we can even do some, you know, preparing, packing videos for our Disney World trip and maybe packing for nationals. And I even thought about it would be kind of cool if maybe we did a day in the life of some of our Diamond Company kids. I know that a lot of you guys like to see how things are going with those kids in particular. So maybe we'll do that too. Just leave down in the comments below if you can. I don't know if you can or not. But if you can leave the comments down below. Let me know what you guys would like to have um, see in the next couple of videos for the summer. I just won't be uploading videos every day. Um, it will probably be once a week. Um, so you'll be watching my videos and I'm going to probably try and get those up every Friday. So every Friday we'll put up a new video, um, of how things are going in our lives. And then once we get closer to Walt Disney world, we'll be doing back to uploading every day. Cause then it'll be the start of the new season. So crazy stuff, crazy stuff, crazy stuff.
Um, we are here at the studio. Everybody say hi. Okay, so they have one more practice and then it's the recital. So today we had Javay, who is our CIT, junior CIT actually. She is now moving into an official CIT position for next year. So she got to teach her very first combo for class today. Did you guys like it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, she did good though. Okay, so let's check out her combo. Good job. Okay, so my walking and training begins. Two nights now, I have walked home from the dance studio, trying to get ready and prepared for Walt Disney World and all the walking and talking that I'll be doing with the vlog camera like this in the heat, although it's not hot right now. <laughs> so yeah, I really have to get in shape. This is ridiculous. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was kind of like a mismatch of like a bunch of different stuff that happened during the week. And I'll be posting up new videos once a week um, until we get ready to go to nationals. And then we will be doing daily vlogging again, starting in the fall, yay! The new season for 2020. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We got a lot of new kids at the studio. It's gonna be awesome keep getting more and more as summer progresses, we might just a be able to break that 70 student max capacity bracket. That would be awesome if we got past that. All right, I gotta go. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, bye. Oh my God. So I made it home, still light out. Oh gosh, how the heck am I gonna get through Disney World? Like that was just a walk from Casey's to my house, which is probably about not even a quarter mile. I mean, literally like maybe four or five blocks. And I'm huffing and puffing, can't breathe. Uh, my knee is starting to kill me. I mean, mind you, I have flip flops on, but still, and I'm sweating. I have got to exercise every day. Okay, so this is the plan, y'all. I'm gonna exercise every day. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna cut out the pop. So starting tomorrow will be my first day. I'll do quick, small little videos to keep myself. <laughs> I'll make a whole separate playlist of tracking what I eat, what I drink, and how I exercise. I have 107 days until we get to um, Walt Disney World. So if I can stay 
on track, cut out the pop, drink only water, you know, maybe have my caffeine be my coffee in the morning, but do that exercise every day. Stop with the carbs, limit the carbs. <laughs> Better said than done. Um, <laughs> try to like cut back on the sugar intake. Oh my God, because it's summertime and that's ice cream. I can do this. I really could do this. I'll just need your guys' support to really get through this. So I'll do like two, three minute, like quick little verb videos of how well I did, where I'm progressing at. And you know what? I'll even get on a scale. All right. Maybe I won't get on a scale. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I'm going to need your help though. I'm going to do this. I, I cannot be out of shape and dying like this. Cause that's not even a full day. That's literally like just a 10, 15 minute walk. How the heck am I going to get through a full four days at Walt Disney world? I gotta get it. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. All right. I'll see you guys.